Monsters, monsters, and more monsters. And every time Bruce transforms into the Hulk, now it looks like it hurts. My name is Dora, and this is SEM Comics. We are continuing our covers of the Hulk with number two. So our story begins with some song lyrics. At the end of my days, when I am laid to rest, don't shed a tear for me, for you'll see me again in these halls of stone, where our brother waits for thee. Call me home, brother mountain, to the hall where we all long to go. Call me home, Kylie Mountain. Let me be one with Thieve down below. So then Bruce wakes up and he sees a young little girl staring at him. Now this is the same girl in issue one. I pretty much liberated herself from her abusive ass dad. And Bruce is like, you're that kid. And she's like, my name is Charlie. Your name is Banner, right? You're the Incredible Hulk. So then she starts to bother him and goes, come on, do it. And he's like, go home, kid. And she's like, come on, do it. I want to see it. And he's like, do you want to die by the Hulk? Like, forget about it. Just go home. So then she picks up and she throws a rock at him. And she's like, you change when you get mad, right? And he's like, are you trying to commit suicide by Hulk? I'm trying to save your damn life. Go home. And then this dude walks by. I mean, you, you could tell he's dead as hell. So even though you can tell this dude is a zombie, Bruce Banner still talks to this dude and goes, hey, old timer, what brings you out this way? And he goes, going home to Red Creek, going to see Sister Sadie and Brother Deep. Brother Deep is calling us home. So some time passes and now they're camping out. And she goes, so the thing with the dead guy, does that happen to you a lot? And Bruce goes, in my experience, monsters have a way of finding each other. What are you doing here, kid? That Captain America patch just for pretty colors. So she goes, well, you know, Cap had Bucky. Sometimes heroes need partners. So then Bruce gets mad and goes, is this an Avenger tryout? It's like Hulk is not a hero and he definitely doesn't want a sidekick. It's like, have you not heard me? Go home. It's not safe here. And she's like, easy, man, easy. He's like, he's trying to come through now all the time. Like, I don't know how long I can hold him back. And then she falls over. So her hood falls off and shows her scar in her face. And Bruce goes, oh, who gave you that? And she goes, oh, I got it in the same place you're trying to send me back to. She's like, I'm here for the Hulk, not you. He's the strongest thing I've ever seen. Being close to him just makes me feel stronger. You saw I'm already a monster. I should be allowed to have the awesome parts too. So if you didn't watch the last video, which I don't blame you, it was a long time ago. Car's right there, and link will be in the description. She's having a dream, and her dad shows up. Now her dad's been possessed by a demon. It was very gruesome. Just watch the last video. So he pretty much tells her that all these monsters that have been popping up, they're coming for them because a the hoax a fractured son, and that's who they're after. So Banner's having a dream of his own. He's like in some dead like raven, and he's calling out for Charlie. And Hulk's like, your kid can't hear you. <laughs> you thought I would let you have a friend after what you did? After Betty? I won't forget Banner. I'll never stop. I'll always find you, and soon, I'll be the only thing that's left of you. Now, if you think Hulk's acting like a bad guy, he's not. From the last Hulk series, trust me, this is good get back. So then they're both woken up by a police siren, and this old school hick sheriff is asking what they're doing there. And Banner's like, our car broke down, and we started to walk, but then the rain started, so we're just camping out here until the rain stops. So then the sheriff's like, oh, unfortunately, I can't let you do that. A diner burned down, and everybody died. So it's dangerous out here. Now, again, from the last episode, we know the Hulk did that. So the cops like, come on, I'll take you somewhere safe. I'll take you to Red Creek, that's where I'm from. And the little girls really doesn't want to go, but what other choice do they have? So the next few scenes is the church that we saw in the beginning and it's filled with zombies. And they're pretty much saying how Brother Deep is going to be doing this and how Brother Deep is going to be doing that. That's pretty much going to be our antagonist. It's not that important. What's important is when the sheriff walks in. He brings him in and like the zombies immediately grab the girl and grab Banner. The girl is like, you don't want nothing to do with this. You don't know who you're messing with. So the Banner is like, Hulk, I really need you. Hulk, come on, they're going to kill the girl. And Hulk's like, yeah, but first they're going to kill you. And they stab him. So Banner is pretty much dead, and I know you guys are probably saying, man, Hulk is doing Banner dirty, but if you read the last series, dude, Banner did Hulk so dirty, it ain't funny. So no, this is, again, this is really good get back, because Banner deserves his stuff. So just like in Immortal Hulk, Hulk is not going to let Banner die, and all of a sudden, he starts turning green, the girl says, hell yeah, and he transforms, and like I said before, it just looks like these transformations hurt. I mean, hurt, hurt. And we're on to the next issue. <laughs>